Hi guys, good evening. Hi Josie, how are you? Hi. I'm doing great. What about you? I'm fine. Thank you. Everything good? How was the weekend? Did you have fun? Did you relax? Yeah. <laughs> Mostly relax. <laughs> yeah, what else can we do, right? Yeah, I need it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, <laughs> well, um, let's begin. Let's see where we left off last class. Now we were going to start the section five, right? This is the last one. So this is where we're gonna pick up, where we left off. Oh. Yep. No way, if you could turn the camera on, Jacqueline is gonna join us. Um, Fatima, you never turned it on, I think. I don't know, I don't remember why, but okay. So let's read this. Eduardo, can you read the objective, please? In this class, you will listen to a conversation about jobs and job requirements, where gerunds and short response will be used. Will be used gerunds with short responses. Yes. Um, I think we've read this one. Now that I remember, why did it go back to number five then? We practice the dialogue here. Hi, thank you for joining us again. I'm working on the weekends. Let me see. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. We practice the dialogue, right? Yes. Yep, yep, yep. When I saw the objective, I noticed. All right, let's do section 5.2. Everybody connect to the platform, log in. Let's go there. We're going to study this. Jacqueline, can you read this objective, please? By the end of this class, you will learn how to make the statements with gerunds and giving short response. Yeah, how to make statements. Very good. Make no. statements. No, make statements. Make statements. Uh -huh. The thing is that you're saying make if statements. You're saying it like that. But there's no E, right? So it's make statements. Like that. Hi, Noe. I see you now. <laughs> you're in the Hi. middle of I don't know where. <laughs> I know. All right. Let's watch this. Please take notes. Let's use your notebooks. Let's see. We're going to be using gerunds. Remember, guys, gerunds are the ones that end with ing, okay? Oh, by the way, before I forget, did you guys receive the information on the new course? Yes. You did, everybody? Yes, I did. Yes. yes I did. The, course, well, the course is going to change the schedule, right? Yep. It's going to be more intensive. It's going to be 10 hours a week. And going it's to going to be with you, Jyoti? I will be one of the teachers, I hope, but um, I'm not sure if it's me specifically. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe. But it's basically going to be <laughs> epic, Carla. Basically, going to be the same, but uh, you don't have to work on the platform anymore. So, the teacher just classes. I had just the classes, no more platform, anything, just regular classes, like an intensive course. And uh -huh. um, yeah, that course is more expensive. I know you're not paying anything, are you? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Okay, that course is double the price. So I think it's like 85, 80, 90 dollars, which you don't have to pay. All right, don't get me wrong. You don't have to pay. So did you recommend to take this course? Did you recommend to us? Yeah, to take totally. It? The reason why I'm working with you right now is because I was a um, teacher for in support. In, English for work teacher mm -hmm. years ago. So then they came up with this idea. But yeah, totally. It's going to be intensive and it's a regular course. Teacher, <clears throat> and the time for the course, how long? Uh, how, how many time we are going to spend in the new, in the new course? Uh -huh. It's 40 hours. 
So that means one month. And with that month, one month for module. Mm -hmm, for module, yeah. And it's mm -hmm. intensive. So intensive. it's totally recommended because I'm telling you, you don't have to pay a penny, but somebody's paying for that. So <laughs> they don't have $90, right? And you're going to get to learn a lot. The requirement yeah. is you have to be present 80% of the time. So that means that you can only be absent once a week. So that's, mm -hmm. that's one of the things. And will be video calls? <laughs> or Sorry? just, it will be with video calls or just classes without camera? Camera. <laughs> you don't want to turn on your camera. <laughs> no, it would be Sometimes just. I really, I don't enjoy to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be something like this. Yeah, because there will be interaction, you will do the same. It's just more exercises, mm -hmm. more practice, more topics. Like right now, we probably see one topic per class on average. But in mm -hmm. one class, you will see, I don't know, three topics maybe, three different topics. Mm -hmm. You can do listening, exercises, speaking, everything. So yeah, I totally mm -hmm. recommend it. In my okay. case, you don't have an option anyway. Do you have an option? I'm not sure. I think you have no option anyway, because <laughs> all the well, teachers that are teaching right now this this um this course, they're gonna be moving to those classes. So you two have to migrate, right? Do you have questions about that? No. Are you gonna no. join? Are you gonna sign yes. up? Yes. <laughs> Well, Alexander is thinking about it. Oh, I'm not sure because sometimes my job is really demanding and I finished around eight o'clock and I feel really exhausted, but I will try it because it is important to me to be more fluent in, in improve my English. Yes. So maybe I, I will do. But I prefer if if we can take this class with you, Josie, because I really love your Aww. methodology with these classes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, say happy Teacher's Day, guys. Come on, you're so cold. Hey, ha no, <laughs> happy Teacher's Day. You. You're so cold. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, today's Teacher's Day. Yeah, some people have told me. I think it's a hey. different day here. Thank you. Happy I'm so teacher's sorry day. I lost my sense of time <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> but thank you so yep i totally recommend it and i hope i can continue with you i don't know i think a lot of things are going to change because of that so maybe for example last module i saw carla chang and then everybody else is new but she's the only one that i'm keeping from last time so maybe i would see some of you not all that could be the case but yeah thank you um and Fatim, I mean, Alexandra, if you don't take that class right now, then yeah. later in life, you will have to study English at some point of your yeah, life. Not I know. Yeah, it's, better it's better right now because at the end of the day, we have more time maybe with yeah. this situation. So, okay, I will do. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you there for I will sleep when I die. <laughs> <laughs> to be one of okay. <laughs> I hope right. no. No, so, yeah, does anybody have questions about that? No, yeah, exactly. I've been trying. I've been trying to understand what you're talking about, but I don't get it. I have a question. I will send the document right now. Second. So you can see what I'm talking about. Hold on. Please. I have Go a ahead, question. Go ahead. And so then we have to go away of this course to take the new course, or we have the both course. No, 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 just one. Mm. They're both sponsored by Insta Forbes, so it's the same. I mean, uh, the same. So I remember that this course we are going to finish in eight months with the actual methodology. But for the new one, do you know how many uh, how many months we are going to spend? Check right now. <clears throat> Let me see intermediate two here it is it will be good if you send us the, the new information no yeah i'm, I'm just sending it so let's open it and see what i'm talking about Please, thank yeah you. no ed the thing is that in reality look there are 
six levels for each one. So you're going to be somewhere in the in intermediate one. And each level is one month. So you're probably somewhere there. You're going to finish in eight months or five. I don't know. These are six, right? Seven, eight. Yeah, probably eight months you're going to finish or nine. Tops. I don't okay. know where they sent you the information because they could have sent you intermediate two, three. I don't know which one they sent you or four. So just if this is intermediate, which number? This is two in this okay. type of class. So that may probably not equal the same in the, our program. So, yep, any other questions? So it's gonna be two hours per week or, or per day? Per day, Monday to Friday. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Oh yeah, and you have schedules here, so from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and there are other options ah, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, the intermediate okay. one is 50 hours each, so that should last five months, I mean five weeks, and five weeks. Yeah, it's probably going to be five weeks each. So yeah, any yeah. other questions? No, I hope you follow being our teacher. Are you continue being our teacher? Oh, I hope so too, let's see, let's see what happens. Things are gonna How change. I gonna be <laughs> You're gonna what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. You have until July first. Remember, we finish this course on Thursday. So we have four more classes today until Thursday. We finish. So on Monday, I think it's the last day, or Wednesday to turn it in on the first of July. And then you start the following week. So you will be off for one week, I believe. Right. Well, let's begin. Let's watch the video. Take notes. Get your notebooks out. If you have questions later, let me know. Okay. I'll be here. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds. Short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is... I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as, don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They're good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problems. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. 
Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject, or noun or pronoun, after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. All right, it's a long before we but I'm going to guide you step, step by step so that you don't get confused, all right? First of all, all right, what are gerunds, guys? What's a gerund? Verb. It's a verb plus ing. Uh -huh, it's a verb conjugated in the ing form because try to make it into a noun. That's why. The reason why we're changing the, the verb into the ing form is because we need a noun, okay? So there's one thing you have to know. Uh, after all This is a rule that is very effective for gerunds is after all prepositions, you have to use a gerund. So if you put any verb, you cannot say, for example, I am happy. I am happy about participate. This is not okay, all right? You cannot say I am happy about to participate. It's also absolutely incorrect, okay? Why? Because when you have a preposition, you always have to use a gerund. So what is the correct form? Happy. About participating. I'm happy about participating. Exactly. Participating. There is. So, what are some of the prepositions? We have on, at, by, before, in, okay, with. Those are prepositions. All right. So, if you see this and you have to use a verb, always use ing. Uh, the way we're going to practice this quickly is by answering the questions I'm going to send you through WhatsApp right now. You want to guide? Hold on. Let me see. Thanks. So check the questions, guys. I'm sending them through WhatsApp. I will write some of them here so you can see. And there we sent. So it says the majority of the questions are going to be uh, what are, what are you, and I need you to use a verb in the journal form. Okay, so guys, what are you interested in? That in is a preposition, all right? There's another example there. It says, what are you proud of? That of is a preposition, okay? How do you answer that question? Let me ask Fatima Spinoza, what are you interested in? But I need a verb, okay? A ger I need a gerund. Learning English. I'm interested in learning English, very good. Or guys, you can say, I'm interested in sports. The thing is, I told you, right, this verb, this fourth is a noun. In learning English now, because we modified it into the gerund form, it's also a noun. 
So, but I don't want you to practice this. I want you to practice with verbs, only with verbs. All right, what are you proud of, Noe? Proud. Yeah. Proud is, you know the meaning of proud, Noe? Yes, I know. Oh, okay. I am proud of studying English. Are you proud? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> that could be. All right, that's one example. You can say, I'm proud of um, being, or of, I don't know, having a job in la la la. I don't know, you guys tell mm -hmm. me. So yeah, use the verb. I think that's clear, right? Very easy questions. You're using the um, prepositions and use ing. And then we'll practice the other explanations. All right, let's do that. Do you have questions? No? Okay, discuss the questions from WhatsApp. Here we go, accept the invitations. And I'll be with you. Accept the invitations. Cooking, what pastas? Pe well, my favorite dish is Mexican food. Uh, yeah, Mexican food mm -hmm. rocks. Yeah, Alexandra, true. you would like Peruvian food. You have to try it one day. They yeah. say it's very good for Peruvian Yeah, food. just Mexican as a bit like it. Mm. You don't like Mexican? No, yeah. that's her favorite food, and it, it used to be mine, but now it's Peruvian food. So I'm thinking mm -hmm. that Sandra may also enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. could be, because I only tried in the past uh, ceviche peruano. It was really good because it has a lot of lemon, in I love lemon. Mm -hmm. It was good, so maybe in the future I will try it with Peruvian food in Peru. Because I really want to go to Cusco. Oh, lucky. Hey, Machu Picchu. <laughs> Remember this, please. Lomo. <laughs> Lomo. Oh my gosh, I can't forget names anymore. What's going on with Lomo Salteado? You have to try the beef, not the, not the cocktails and those things. No, don't try those. Okay, Lomo Salteado. Okay. Yeah, it's basically I will remember. <laughs> a beef with vegetables, so it's not going to be easy. Mm. It's going to be difficult. Okay. Okay. Jacqueline, Good. what are you afraid of? Mm, I'm afraid of... Um, I don't know what I'm afraid of. Mm, to be on fire, I don't know. You have being. Being, being on fire. Uh -huh, in a fire of, are you afraid of fire. fire like catching fire right Jacqueline? catching fire oh, that would be terrible. Ah. Carla, Carla what are you proud of proud of uh, her new look <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of my new look. My new, my new haircut. haircut. That's good, but we need a verb. Uh, using that look. Uh -huh, maybe I'm proud of having proud haircut. Yeah. Um, how? I forgot. 
being having a new haircut. Yes. All right, I'll be back. Okay. Um, I'm bad at um. Um. We're so perfect, Jocelyn. Sorry. <laughs> We're so perfect. <laughs> It's so hard Mercy. to think. Let me think. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I really, yes. <laughs> hey, you know why You know why I the three of you are together that. in this group? Oh? Because the three of you are together in this group because the system identifies you don't have your camera on, so it puts you together. It groups you together. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm okay. bad at... Yeah, we're so perfect. It's so hard to think about that. <laughs> I'm bad at in mathematics. <laughs> no, 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 but you need a verb. That's okay. It is all right, but we're practicing gerunds right now. So I'm bad at. I'm bad at in mathematics. That in mathematics. Okay. Studying mathematics. I'm terribly bad at dancing. <laughs> oh yes, me too. I'm bad at uh, I'm bad at dancing. Um, Carla, say yeah, so at, am I. Uh, so am I. Instead of me too, right now. So am I. Sorry. What are you good at, Eduardo? Good at playing guitar. Uh -huh, okay. What are you what are you bad at Paul? Everybody answer the question. What are you bad at guys? Tell me. Nothing? <laughs> I'm bad at lying. Really? I think you're lying right now, so <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't I'm, lie? I'm lying in this moment. <laughs> I told them that, that I am bad at um, reading books. I don't like it. Ah, okay. I'm bad at dancing. And you, Paul? Singing. At singing. Hmm. Okay. Very good. What's the next question? What are you interested in, Paul? It's really hard because I work in the morning and I study at the afternoon. What do you study right now? Industrial engineer. Oh, that's nice. Me too. Where? Oh, this is an engineer group yes. for you guys because I <laughs> no, I study a, a how do you say licenciatura degree? A bachelor. A bachelor. I'm not an engineer, so it's for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else? Uh, a try for what are you a try for, Alexander? Afraid of. Afraid, afraid of. of. Afraid of. Mm, well, in my case, I interested to say uh, yeah. to working in another place no, 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 or sorry. country. I'm interested in after a purpose. Country. What do we use? Excuse me. I'm interested in, and you have to use ing, not to. Oh. Yeah, working in other countries. Mm -hmm. In another country. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, okay. The next is afraid of. Okay, here we are, all of us. Guys, I hope that you are practicing with gerunds, right? After the preposition, I-N-G, always I-N-G. Very good. 
So now something I would like you to practice is now, hold on. We're going to practice with the verse to show Shit, preferences. Okay. We're going to use love, like, hate, and dislike. Right. After these verbs, honestly, you can use to or ing, but we're going to practice ing. Okay. So you can say, for, for example, <laughs> I love studying, and somebody will say, if they agree, okay, somebody will say, so do I, okay? If somebody makes a negative form, like I don't like, I want you to practice both. I don't like, um, mm -mm, I don't know, pineapple pizza. Do you like pineapple pizza? I don't mind it. Yeah. Oh, pineapple pizza. Yes. I love pizza. it. Pizza. How, how are <laughs> No. Pizza, it's really, really it's good. Pizza, it's really bad. Pizza is no it's good. Pineapple. <laughs> it's not good. Nice. <laughs> 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 <Yes>, try it. <laughs> I don't mind. All right. After all of these verbs, I need you to use ing, but I also want you to react. So if I say, I don't like pineapple pizza, and, and you say, oh, well, mm -hmm. what, how do you say that? So do I is positive. I need the negative form. How do you say that? Neither do I. Neither, Neither do, do I. I. Neither do I. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you say, hey, mm, I hate this. Okay. So do I. I can't mm -hmm. stand. I can't stand. Um, after I can't stand, you have to use ing. So I can't stand walking walking no I, you know i can't stand waiting in line mm -hmm. what about you so do i so do i no it's negative this is negative neither, neither do, do i neither do i neither do i right mm -hmm. so do i if it's a negative one because in spanish you say yo tampoco right so even in spanish we have another word another word uh, Another word to say, <laughs> <laughs> neither do I. So I hate it. Mm -hmm. like it what about me neither? You can use me neither, and you can also use me too. You can mm -hmm. say me neither, me too. But I want you to also practice this form because mm -hmm. you will study it in the future. And this is not the only form. You can say neither do I, so will I, so did I, so am I. There are so many forms that I need you to practice this, not the easy one, all right? Mm -hmm. So, the, sorry guys, I'm going to mute your microphone. And your children. All right. So, I don't mind means, mm, I don't mind. It doesn't mean it bothers you. It, you don't love it. You don't like it. It's like, well, yeah, no, I don't mind, all right? So I would like you to complete this with something you love, something you like, and so on. And I need everybody else in the group to say, so do I, or neither do I. All right. Is that clear? Yep. Very good. Yeah. Practice. Yep. Very great, great. I'm going to recreate the, the group. Let me see here. There's another person. Okay. That works. Activate invitation, please. Let's practice. Take a screenshot of this. Thanks for the invitation, everyone. So do I. Um, sorry guys, somebody's watching TV. Could you lower the volume just a little bit, please? please if you were so kind. Alexandra, you're muting. <laughs> you're mute. Okay, there. Oh, 
Yeah, we can see that. So Are I good? share my screen with you because I have. Great. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. First one. Mm, well, I love what. This is guys club, men only. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the guys are here. Yeah, yeah, the girls are together. We are the Spartans. Spartans, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, ooh, what sentence ooh. have you written? We have written the first, the, the first one and the second one. Okay. And are you I reacting to it? Better music. I don't like reggaeton music. So do I, bro. You're no, my no. brother. <laughs> neither You're do I. You're my brother. <laughs> you say, I don't like neither. it. You say, neither do neither I. Do I. Neither, neither do I. I. Neither do I. Okay. Neither, neither do I. Okay. Neither do I. Neither do I. Playing soccer. Yeah. What about you, Jacob? I don't like playing any any sports. Very good. I would like some people to share with me. So something you're afraid of, and sorry guys, something you hate. I don't hear anybody, guys. Something you hate. Waiting. You hate waiting? So waiting do I. People. Okay. For people. <laughs> guys, tell me one sentence quickly, everyone, and I would react to it. Go ahead. Everybody. I like I playing it. soccer. You like playing soccer? Mm, okay. No, I don't. Sorry. Any? <laughs> what else? <laughs> I can't agree. Okay. I hate tra crowded places. Oh, but we need a verb. That's okay. But we, we have to practice, guys. Gerund is a verb with ing. We need to practice those. All right. That's okay. the purpose. 
I hate waking earlier. Ah, waking up early. Oh my gosh. So do I. So know, do right? I. Because I'm not a morning person. We are <laughs> night owls. <laughs> you bird or night owl? Morning person, night owl. All right, one more. Okay, well, that's fine. I, know what <laughs> I love say. listening music. You love listening to music. Guys, pay attention. So do I. Uh, so do I. That's right. So do I. Singing. Okay, very good. Um, mm -mm. Look at this, guys, because some of you, I don't know if, the, if it is clear, all right, because I'm making you practice and maybe it's not clear. So, all right, we're studying gerunds. Gerund is a verb which is conjugated with the ing form because we need a noun, all right? Anyway, this is a gerund. When are you going to conjugate the verb in the ing form? When? Instead of to or instead of just the verb. Number one, after prepositions okay so after prepositions we practice that the first practice of the class was afraid of interested in so you have to use ing the other one is after some verbs some verbs not all of them for mm -hmm. example what verbs like what else hey we just practice them what were they love love, love. dislike Dislike. All right. Dislike. In this case, you can use gerunds or infinitives, but we're going to say gerunds, okay? So you cannot go around in life, right, and say, for example, I love jump, okay? Like, yo amar saltar. You can't say bunga langa, <laughs> right? You can't say that. So <laughs> that is the reason why you have to pay attention to this topic, because if you don't conjugate it the right way, that's the way you're going to sound in English. Right, so I love John Pan. Okay. Bang. Yes, and then number three. Well, we're gonna use that after other verbs, which you're gonna see right now in this exercise and in another practice I have for you. We can identify other verbs. Anyway, let's do the exercise. Okay. I don't like. What is the conjugation, guys? I don't like commuting. Do I have to write the full sentence? Do you know? Like I don't like commuting in the compliment commuting by bus. Mm -hmm. Very good. Why? Because we're using like. Right, number two. I'm not very good at learning foreign language. Learning foreign languages. Very good. Next one, Alexandra. I'm good at solving other people's problems. Okay. Let's see if this is right. Other people's problems. Hey, are you good at solving other people's problems? Mm -mm. Well, in my case, I started for this. I started for this. <laughs> Did you study psychology or something? Yes, I'm a psychologist. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I am lucky you. I'm jealous. I wanted to be a psychologist. <laughs> you could be. <laughs> you could still be anything you want, teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. One day, Alexandra, maybe in two years, I'm going to start studying that. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I recommend to you this career. Oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> All right, I hate Eduardo. No, Eduardo, I don't hate you. Help hate... me complete it. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I love you. <laughs> I hate working with a group or team. I hate working with a with group, a group or, or team. team. Hey, guys, you have to pay attention to the order because there's only one option. So pay attention. Do it with me because I will give you the right answers, okay? I think that group or team goes before. So if you don't put it in that way, it will say it's incorrect. Number five, Carla Chang. Good. 
Carla. No. Ah, aquí, here, here, here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, I can, I can stand in a meeting sitting. Uh -huh. So I can't stand. What's the verb? Sitting, sitting, sitting in a meeting, in a meeting, alone. Sitting long, maybe sitting long. In it could be long. sitting in a long meeting. Sitting, sitting in a long meeting. In a mm -hmm. long meeting, yeah. In a long meeting. Period, maybe. I don't know. Do it with me, guys, because if you don't have a period or something, it's going to say it's wrong. Uh, number six, no? I'm interested in managing better my time. Managing my time better, maybe. Managing my time better. Thank you. Seven. I don't mind talking on a cell phone. Cell phone. Talking on a cell phone. Very good. And last but not least, Fatima Spinoza. I enjoy eating lunch. It's oh, man. I eating enjoy out. eating out lunch every day. Yeah, eating out means to eat in a restaurant, guys. Eating out lunch every day, period. And I think everything is wrong. Let me check. <laughs> yeah, I told you everything was wrong. <laughs> everything is wrong. <laughs> I tried before to do yeah, this. Dude. I know why because you have to <laughs> all this I, emphasis. I don't I think like and point be complete. No, I yeah. think you have to type this. I, I'm not very good at. You have to include it in the sentence. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. it's just for it, you know, it's just for the point at the last of the phrase. So the I shouldn't type it. It's a period, by the way, Eduardo. Period. Period. Look, look, look. It's saying it's right. Let's see what's going on. It's okay. <coughs> no, it is right. But what you have to do is you have to include this part. Yes. How do you do, do the? It. How do you do the first one? I don't like commuting. I don't like commuting by bus. Period. Ah, uh, just period. I'm not very good at learning languages. Period. Mm -hmm. This one needs a period at the end. Period. Okay. I hate working. Period. All right. In I each can't... one, we have to do this period. I can't stand sitting. You have to retype it here. I'm interested in managing. And so on. All right. Um, let me check. Uh huh. Yeah, it's right. I'm going to show you the answers. I always have the answers, guys, but I want to see <laughs> how it works. So, in the number, in the number three, there is a, a, a mistake, maybe, and there's good at solving other people's problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, guys, take the answers. I'm gonna send them because no, I cannot send you the answers because my phone is dead. Can you take a screenshot of the answers? These are the answers. Yeah. This Correct. Okay, so I'll omit letter S. Well, the important thing is if you notice, everything here is prepositions, ing, and the verbs we practice, like, dislike, everything is here. So the exercise was easy, right? Because we already practiced that. Okay, you took a screenshot? Somebody? Please take a screenshot to yes. the group. All right, now I'm going to give you the rest of the answers. Here. I got every every question answered in the correct way. Just the number three is my mistake. I have tried in a lot of ways and, <laughs> and number three, number four. The, the right answer. Yeah, you were never gonna get that answer because it's a mistake actually. All right, so let's continue. These are the right ones. Okay, and 
type section 5.4 so that people know what it is. All right. Tomorrow, guys, we're going to practice these questions so that you can see other verbs that are followed by gerunds. Okay. Do you have questions about gerunds following? No. no, right? Is it clear? No, it's clear. Very good. Read the objective, please. Eunice de la Paz. Hola. Read the objective, right. please. Okay, in this session, we will notice some practice, release and unreleasing sounds. Thank you. All right, let's see how this works. Hi everyone, we want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released, t and d. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound t or d at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. And let's practice the pronunciation here. I will play it and pause it for you to repeat. Released. When it is followed by a v, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. Everyone repeat. She's not good at math and science. Repeat, everyone. Unmute the microphone. <laughs> so sorry. Math and science. <laughs> right next. I hate I working on, work Sundays. on Sundays. I hate, I hate working, working on, on Sundays. Sundays. You need to manage money well. You need, you need to manage money, money well. 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 Yeah, here you're connecting the sound. Need to. Need to. Released. He's not a good artist. He's not, He's not, not a, a good, good artist. artist. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. They really, they hate, really it. hate it. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. I need a, I cup, need a cup, cup of coffee. coffee. That's coffee. what I said this morning. So hey, look, guys, I'm going to... Look at the second part. I want you to pay attention to something. It is less complicated than it seems. So let me explain it in a different way. All right. Uh -uh -uh. What color do I want? I'm going to get yellow. All right, look. Not, um, he's Nada. Okay, Nada. All right. Hate it. Anita. Okay. I'm going to type it here. Look. You got it. Okay, I typed it here. Look at something. Pay attention, guys. So you can see that this is actually a common thing. The thing is that when you have, this is a rule that uh, you don't, nobody will explain probably because the way you see it in the book is different, but when you have P or D between vowels in American English that tends to sound more like an R. So you modify the sound. So look at this. I think I told you this before. Look at this computer. This P is surrounded by, by what? Vowel and vowel. vowel. Right? So we don't say computer, right? We say computer. 
okay? When we have, let me see, what are with a D? I don't know another word right now. So the thing is that since we have to connect all the sounds here, we're gonna connect the sounds, right? We connect the sounds here and here. This is between vowels, right? So this T is nada. No. All right, nida. <laughs> so it's gentle for nada. Nida. <laughs> if you notice, uh, if you notice hate, you don't pronounce this E, right? Do you pronounce this E? It's silent. So, okay, bye bye. We don't pronounce it. We connect hate it. I hate it. Right. So mm -hmm. this T is also between vowels. That's why it sounds like that. So if we want to do like the American accent, every T or D you see between vowels has to change its sounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what they mean by release the sound and stuff like that here is that. In general, we don't do it with two words. We do it with a one word like this one, two words. So it doesn't matter. I cannot think of another one. Even this, Anita, right? They say Anita because the T is between vowels, so it's the same thing. The mm -hmm. verb decided, this D is between vowels, so we say decided, decided. right? Mm -hmm. Decided. Is decided. that clear? Does it make sense to you? It makes sense. Okay, great. So that's what it means. Yes. And the other T's, you don't pronounce them completely the majority of the time, so. But that happens naturally. If you don't stop, it will happen naturally, so you don't need to remember that. Okay. Any okay. questions? Oh. No. Nope. 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 All right. No. Nope. Let's go to bed then. It's time to sleep, guys. Especially yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a beautiful night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. So do I. Thank you. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. I'll bless you all. Bye. Keep away from COVID. Bye. Please. Thank you, Eduardo. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys.